What's up guys, this is Kevin Zellman with your voice recap here on Hollywood Junket. Uh, this is kind of going to be a different type of recap uh, that we've done in the past. We are actually going to be on the phone live with Jeffrey Austin, so I'm not just going to recap what they said on the phone. We will actually be live on the phone with him here. So make sure you guys are tweeting me at Kevin Zellman and at Hollywood Junket. And uh, let's talk about all of this, let's talk about the finale, there's so much that went on. Uh, but right now, let's hear from Jeffrey. Hey Jeffrey, it's Kevin Zalman. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing well. How's everything been since the finale? Very crazy, but you know, back home and taking some time to think. And, Good. Uh, process everything, but it's it's been an incredible week. Have have you? I mean, you said you're still processing everything. So have you been able to like really fully understand and grasp like what has happened this last week? You know, I don't. I was, uh, there were so many things that we were doing. We could only be present in the moment. And, um, you know, so looking back on it, I mean, the fact that I got to sing with Tori Kelly, amazing. Got to meet her and all of her people. And um, I got to sing a Stevie Nicks duet with Gwen. Mm -hmm. that, that's incredible. Um, I got to perform on the finale. I guess to wear some of the most incredible clothes I've ever touched. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's just so many, there's so many different things that have happened this week that I'm so, you know, in, in awe and kind of shocked that actually happened looking back at it. Right. Well, I saw you afterwards and you, you seem so content with everything that happened. Is that really how you felt or inside was it a different feeling? You know, I think the other couple finalists were nervous because they really were in contention for, you know, the win. Um, and so I I was fully aware of how it was going to play out and who deserved to win. And um, I'm just glad that, you know, I was able to make the finale and give three amazing performances that I'm so proud of and three of my best performances of the show. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I gave it everything that I had and felt so confident in what I showed America you know, the kind of artist that I wanted to be. Right. I, I mean, I have to agree. I loved your performances that night also. Um, you, you said that singing Labyrinth was a sound that you would want to put on your album. Is there other types of sounds that yeah. we can expect to hear from you or any surprise sounds we could expect on an album? You know, I love Labyrinth song. That's something that I want. <laughs> I want that song. <laughs> and then I also, you know, I, I love what I did with dancing on my own, that kind of music, and um, Say You Love Me. I mean, I, the, the thing is that I was so lucky enough to do each, each week a song that I would want on my album. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, that's what I'm most proud of, mm -hmm. um, is that I can say, you know, fully that this body of work that I did on The Voice is something that was so true and to me, and I'm so, you know, pleased that I can walk away from this competition knowing that. Adam Levine, in the press conference with Jordan Smith after uh, he won, he was saying that the way that he and Jordan uh, went about choosing their songs was as if they were like choosing songs for an album. Is that how you and Gwen went about your songs, or does it, was it just like a gut feeling each week for you? Um, you know, that's, what, that's a really good way of describing it. Um, you know, sometimes, like with the Jealous song, that was the immediate thought process. But for me, each week, and not... All of these songs. If, I, if my album was any of those songs, <laughs> I would be lucky. But you know, um, I each week for me, I wanted to just because of what I was working on as a performer. You know, being you know honest, authentic, and connected um, with the song and the audience. I needed to have songs that you know personally made sense with my story that I actually had real experience with and connected to. Just because that was the only way that I was going to be able to connect and perform that way. Mm -hmm. um, just because my level of experience, I could only get my mind wrapped around the song that way if that something like that had actually happened to me. So, um, I that is how I went about doing it. Every single thing, I had to look at the lyrics and you know see how I would connect with them and musically what I could do vocally that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, album thoughts definitely in the process of honesty of them. Other times, it was really about how I was going to connect and share that emotion. And so obviously, <clears throat> excuse me, you sang a Cher song, which was one of my favorites uh, of your songs. And yeah. she actually tweeted you and you were like fangirling over it. 
Has anyone else yes. contacted you over Twitter? Um, you know, I got to see, you know, obviously Tori Crowley tweeted. Me uh-huh. Form, um, her manager, Scooter Braun, tweeted. Um, what else? Uh, Jesse Ware tweeted. Labyrinth tweeted. Um, Robin followed me. So um, there's been tons of little shout-outs here and there um, that have been really exciting. That's really exciting. Oh, and there's been other things. Um, you know, a couple, during the voice save, Deborah Messing tweeted to save me. Oh, my God. Um, and, yeah, and, uh, you know, one of the Real Housewives tweeted me, which I know doesn't mean a lot to everyone else, but it means everything to me. <laughs> um, uh, it, you know, tons of cool little shout-outs and support here and there. That's well, What I was going to say, when you said Scooter Braun, he was actually standing behind me in the row that I was in watching you guys perform, because he was there to like, see Tori Kelly, obviously, and... He was talking to this guy who was next to him. He was so impressed by the performance that you did with Tori Kelly. I heard him whispering to his friend behind me. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> that's so nice. Yeah, he was great. He was, um, you know, he told me the night before that he had bought all my songs. So it was really cool. Um, you know, and he, I mean, Tori really wanted to perform that song on the show. And I, I was so happy to even get to perform with it. And I know he was excited that she got to perform with it. She's having such a nice moment right now. She's mm-hmm. nominated for a Grammy. Mm-hmm. So it was a really exciting performance for her. I know she told me that she was so excited to be there. Um, and so I was glad, you know, that someone was just as excited as I was. I mean, obviously I was a little bit more excited to perform with her than she was to perform with me. Mm -hmm. And Blake said that he liked you singing country. What did you think of that? And could we see you maybe be singing more country in the future? Oh, never. (laughs) (laughs) The thing about me choosing a country song is I chose it because the lyrics, like I said, really connected me. Uh, I just really connected to any. I thought that some of the performances that Sugar Land had done of that song and the music video, it it just, it really touched me. And that's, mm-hmm. that's why I chose it. And when we actually arranged it, I mean, when we heard it, it didn't sound anything like a country song. It kind of revolutionized it to be a pop song. Mm-hmm. And that's what I wanted to do if I was doing that song. I wanted to make sure that it was still true to the kind of music that I wanted to make. And I think I was successful in that. I had such an amazing, I mean, the band, obviously, as you know, is amazing. But mm-hmm. they really pulled out all the songs with this arrangement. And so I was so pleased that I got to do that. But don't expect any... <laughs> Don't expect any country songs from me anytime soon. <laughs> okay. Not that I don't love them. It's just, it's just, it's just not. It, I couldn't pull it off. Right. <laughs> no, I, I, I got, I got what you're saying. And what, what was your favorite um, song that you performed on the show? Ooh, uh, uh, I think like a really big moment for me was "Say You Love Me." Mm-hmm. Because. I think that, you know, if you looked at who I was going against on Team Gwen with Victor, Ellie, you know, Regina had just had this amazing performance at Knockout. Um, I think the odds weren't in my favor. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I, that, that song, that I got that song and I got to do it the way I did it, mm-hmm. um, it means so much to me because it really, once you get to the top 12, only one person's eliminated until the nine. Mm-hmm. And so you, that was, that first cut was huge. And so having that performance really, really touched me. And then, of course, um, Jealous and Believe. So those mm-hmm. are the three that, you know, really um, I'm the most proud of. When you had to sing your Save Me song to get into the finale, what was going through your head before you had to start singing and then during your performance? Um, before I, you know, before I had to start sing- singing, I was um, really nervous. Uh, about who I was going against that mm-hmm. has like the most followers <laughs> on the show and or had the most followers on the show and you know um, Maddie is just as you know one of the most incredible vocalists on the show mm-hmm. and probably I think my number one competition other than Jordan because um, we were the three that were making similar kind of emotional ballad music mm-hmm. um, so I was terrified before um you know, thinking about it. But once I, you know, once I found out that I was going to be in the instant state, it was like weird calm came over me. I was like ready to fight. I was so motivated and so, so like 
inspired to like really leave it all out there mm-hmm. and I the song partly did a lot of the work for me mm-hmm. um, but you know I also feel like I get one of the best vocals um, that I get that I given on the show and so while I was happen- while it was happening after after I hit that first high note um, then I was like it's smooth feeling from here I know I can get through the song and I kind of just like was freeing in that in that sense so um you know, that's a crazy emotion. I don't really remember exactly what happened after that. <laughs> <laughs> and what what was your um what was your time with Gwen leading up to the finale and then the day of the finale? What was like her encouraging words to you? What was your time like with her? Oh, well, you know, Gwen's always been open and honest and she she, you know, was completely upfront and frank with me. She's like, We know who winner is likely going to be mm-hmm. and not that he didn't deserve it because he gave the most incredible performances mm-hmm. and um, so we were just relaxed in a sense of like let's have fun let's celebrate this last week together let's you know make sure that you're set up to give some of the best performances and show who you are as an artist mm-hmm. um, and so she was really encouraging in that regard that that's really good to hear that she just said just you know what like just go have fun you guys i mean i know a lot of people don't know but you guys work literally every day all day long so in order to just have fun it's a lot to do if there's one night yeah and it was really all about just being present mm-hmm. in the moment and thinking about only the things that you were doing at that very moment because if you started thinking about what you had to do next you were gonna you're gonna lose yourself so, oh totally um i was i was she was really great in helping that and, you know, kept me calm and um, was just, like, excited and having fun. That's so great to hear. Well, Jeffrey, you know I've been rooting you for you since day one, so I wish you the absolute best of luck moving forward. Hopefully you and I can keep in contact through Twitter and Instagram and all that stuff. Absolutely, Kevin. Thank you so much for everything this entire season. Of course. Hopefully I'll talk to you soon, man. Sounds good. Bye.